Hey everybody, welcome to Kent's Food Review. Glad you here. We came to uh, the top rated Longhorn Steakhouse that I could find in the Jacksonville, St. Johns County metro area. Decided to come down and check out their wings. I've never tried them before. I heard they're really good. So, let's see if they match up to the rest of the good food and good menu that you always get here. So, grab one of these nice wings right here. Definitely nice crispy on the outside, a little greasy on the bottom side. Let's see how the flavor is. Not bad. There's a lot of salt and pepper flavor to it. It's like, I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of like borderline slimy. Not too bad. Definitely can't complain about the wings. Definitely glad I ordered them. Well done. Pretty good flavor. They give you some buffalo sauce and blue cheese, but uh, if your meat is good enough, you don't need to add sauce on it to make it try to taste better. All it's gonna do is just add more salt to it, especially if you put buffalo sauce on it. It's just gonna add more salt, and it's already salty enough, so. Not too bad. The wings are decent. Um, they came out first before my steak. It's really not as hot as everything else is right now. But the wings are pretty solid. I wouldn't mind coming there to get them. It's been a long time since I came, came to a Longhorn, too. Uh, you know, everything going on with the pandemic or plandemic, whatever. But not too bad. Let's see how, how the steak and mac looks. Mac and cheese is obviously a little burnt. It sat under our lamp for a little too long. Not bad, pretty decent presentation. Definitely got a lot of butter right here. Just mix that all in there. Nice, nice. Make that even better, you know. Uh, I got my steak medium rare. Medium rare. Longhorn is definitely one of my favorite steak houses to come to. The steaks are always good quality. It's always good flavor on the steaks too. Thankfully it's not over salted. Because then I would just have to not eat it. But it's not too bad. Besides for, it's like well done. Now it's not as tender as, you know, a dry aged steak. It is still wet aged. But it's really tender for a wet aged steak. Really can't complain about the quality and, and tenderness of it. I got my steak sitting in the fridge at day 58. Two more days and I can cut that bad boy open and uh, figure out how delicious that dry aged steak is going to taste. Definitely looking forward to that. That's why I had to come out and get a steak. I've had steak on the mind for 58 days without touching it besides for just flipping it once a week. So I'm definitely glad I came out to get a steak tonight, even though it's overcooked. The steak is, is pretty flavorful still. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'll probably just take it home and make fajitas out of it because it's overcooked and it's not how I wanna eat it. So we'll move on to the burnt mac and cheese. All right. This is how we serve food to your customers. Look at that. Nice stringy and cheese is still definitely hot.
Just a steaming pile of cheesiness and melted cheese and pasta. Definitely has amazing flavor and texture. Out of all the places you can get macaroni and cheese from, like Longhorn has a pretty good quality of mac and cheese for whatever reason. Especially when out to eat. It's not like overly done. I feel like I've come in and they've had bacon in it before. Maybe I'm lying. Nope, oh, there's a little piece. Maybe bacon or some ham. And they do a good job. See how much flavor the burnt cheese throws into it. Definitely doesn't add flavor. But it's pretty good. At least the mac and cheese is on point. So you get pretty decent. It's a game changer if, if they ruin the mac and cheese on you. We got the Brussels sprouts. Check out how delicious those look. They smell really good. It's come kind of like, it's got like a bacon butter on it or something like that. They look a little overcooked. A little overcooked. Probably really overcooked. I mean, it's just flaky. It doesn't get much drier than that. So, the Brussels sprouts are a loss. The steak's a loss. The wings are decent. Mac and cheese to save the day. Um, overall, not too thrilled. Like I said too, it's the highest scoring Texas long, uh, not Texas, <laughs> Texas Roadhouse. It's the highest scoring Longhorn Steakhouse in the Jacksonville metro area. I was definitely looking forward to this lunch. But it is what it is. Ugh. Let me take a sip of this. We'll take a sip of make his mock and make it a little better. Not impressed. It's not even busy. It's a Saturday afternoon. 6-2. That's a review.